All right, breaking news coming in. The industrial growth for the month of November has slipped to a 17-month low. So we're talking about a, a production number as much as low as 0.5% as against 8.4% a month ago. So that's an extremely sharp contraction uh, in manufacturing, particularly consumer and capital goods uh, that has led to this decline. Uh, in fact, the November manufacturing production was uh, at a mere 0.4% versus 7.9% while capital goods production contracted uh, by 3.4% versus a growth of 16.8%. Electricity production also halved uh, to 5.1% versus 10.8% in October. Uh, remember, this is the lowest industrial production uh, number that's come in in the last 17 months. Let's go across to Ruchi Bhatia, who's joining me on the phone line. Uh, Ruchi, this is a massive contraction, a massive crash that we're seeing in the industrial production numbers. Absolutely, a big contraction that we are seeing as far as the industrial production numbers. Uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, we have seen how there is a massive slowdown uh, in the economy, and this is a reflection of that. Uh, the number coming in is a 19-month low, and it goes on to show how there are several important quarters in the economy that are not performing well at this point of time. If, if I can take you through the internals, uh, manufacturing and mining uh, are seeing. Uh, uh, you know, big downward trend, manufacturing, in fact, even contracting coming in at uh, minus 0.4% and also capital goods seeing a big contraction, almost minus 3.4%. Uh, uh, this is, uh, we've been speaking to a lot of experts, they say this is mainly on account of uh, the base effect, one should not really look at uh, this number in a big way and uh, worry about the economy. However, one can attribute this slowdown to various factors. They are saying that this reflects a very, uh, you know, a, a across the board, a large slowdown in the economy. They're also pointing uh, fingers at uh, the NBFC crisis that we saw in the last month uh, where uh, all, uh, you know, Island FS uh, and uh, uh, the other uh, uh, you know, the Island of crisis, in fact, was one of the big reasons that we saw the overall economy, in fact, uh, was, uh, in fact, in doldrums. And that is even reflecting in this number as well. The previous month, the month of October, was a uh, month where we generally see festive sales really picking up. But now we have seen how there is uh, some sort of a slowdown uh, post uh, the festival season as well. Even if you look at uh, other factors like car sales, like otherwise how the general economy is doing. So it's not really painting a rosy picture, and which is why experts are saying that going forward in the February monetary policy, the RBI has to look at various ways of pumping in liquidity in the economy and right. perhaps even look at uh, a rate cut if need be. All right. Uh, thanks, Ruchi, for getting us all those details. In fact, joining me on the phone line is uh, Mohan Guruswamy. Thank you very much, Mr. Guruswamy, for joining us. Uh, your uh, response to these numbers that we're seeing, uh, it seems like it's uh, quite a contraction on various levels. We're seeing uh, a fall. Yeah, it's a contraction. It's quite surprising mm. because we, we grew smartly for uh, mm. for a while, at about eight percent. Right. And then suddenly, in November, the growth has fallen to 0.5 percent, which means that there's been some bunching of figures in October, and November. Right. So mm. all other external indications are showing that uh, purchases of vehicles and motorbikes and uh, uh, heavy goods have all dropped, which is not not a good sign. So production must have kept going at the at the old level in the anticipation of you know uh, off takes. But now people are saddled with losing electricity. Right. Uh, so uh, so how concerning do you think this is uh, really going forward, given the rest of the macro environment at this point? Well, I think it's a matter of great concern because you know the liquidity levels are dropping. Right. And RBI has focused on inflation. But if you focus entirely on inflation, then you will have problems with, uh, with industrial production. If people are not buying, now you can imagine for the next three months, there won't be any heavy goods production. Right. Because there's already adding on to inventories. Wild goods, automobiles, all these things. Are so, and these are the heavy growth sectors. Right. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, response on this. Uh, that's as far as the uh, IIP numbers are concerned.